everyone. I just want to show you what I'm doing here. It's um, This is the Rose Clay and Rose Hip Soap. It's a new edition for Spring Summer 2017. I'm making it in this mould, which is a Brambleberry, I think it's a Brambleberry Tall Thin Mould. And the reason why I've got to put it up against the wall here um, is because the middle of it bows out uh, because of the weight of the soap. You probably noticed that when you're at the different angle um, looking down on it from above. So I've just got a hold of the camera and I'm showing you because you can't see from the angle that you were at before you couldn't see all of this that I'm doing. But I'm basically putting this is going to be uh, the remainder of the soap on top. So it's going to be quite a high top um, because <laughs> I did a mistake at the start. I was um, I was measuring out my lie, and what happened was I got lazy. So instead of measuring it out into a separate canister, I actually separated it out. Um, I actually was um, kind of weighing it directly into the water, and I went over by about ten grams. So I had to go back upstairs onto my laptop and adjust the whole of my recipe in order to accommodate for, the, for that extra 10 grams of lye. So there's actually a little bit more, just a little bit more soap um, made today um, and a wee bit more than that what would comfortable, comfortably fit into the mould that I'm using. But I think it'll be nice, it just means that you'll get a wee bit extra in each part because it's still going to be cut the same width. And this mould actually will give you, um, I think, about 20 grams extra in each bar because um, it's slightly even the length, uh, the, width of, the width of it this way, like from here to here, is slightly wider than my normal, um, the normal soap logs I cut. So just to be a bit more. So I thought I'll just let you know that, and I will show you. Because I'm holding it and I can't, <laughs> and I can't uh, do both of, uh, film this and do it at the same time. So I'm just going to show you because I'm going to decorate it up with rose petals towards the end, and then I'll give you um, a, a few pics or just make a quick film of that. Okay, so I just wanted to come back and show you what the finished product is like. So. It's basically got rose petals on one side and a very high top. And I'm going to take something heavy and just um, push this against the wall here so it comes up. So this doesn't see, um, bow, well, kind of bow up from here. So I'm just going to use this, which is my, because I ferment kombucha and I ferment gin. So I'm just going to push this against that and like this. And just leave that there. I'll probably leave that there for about overnight and then I can take that away tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll come back to show you when I cut this. Okay, so I'm just about to cut um, the gradient soap I made. And this is rose clay and rose hip. And I have high hopes for it that it turned out well. It looks quite nice on the side, so but we'll know when I cut it. Can we just get this centered so you can see? I'm going to try to cut it on its side because if I just keep it like this, then the the rose petals are going to drag through and make drag marks, so it's better off doing it on its side. I think I left this about a week, or I think it's been less than a week actually. But I do a slight water discount now, which makes the soap um, harden up a wee bit quicker than before. I've mentioned before that I've got quite a lot of soft oils 
um, my soap is predominantly olive oil so it does take a while to um, harden up in the mold and this mold especially the silicone molds well the other one is silicone as well it's got silicone lining but these seem to it seems to take longer in this basically to harden up so a water discount always helps okay So we'll get about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars and two bars on this side. That we can use for samples. Ah, uh, power. <coughs> okay. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's not oh nice what's happening here there we go oh wow that's nice it's gelled a wee bit in the middle you can see it I'm trying to get this edge a bit off for some reason it's stuck hard and fast don't know why that is there we go just take it off gently Yeah, because it's a wee bit soft still. I think that's why it's sticking. Because my recipe is safety assessed now, I can't, I can't really change it. But I don't want to because I love the fact that it's got olive oil. The only thing about having like a high percentage of soft oils is that you do have to wait quite a while for them to be ready. But once they are ready. And um, because eventually the olive oil will harden up, the bar does harden up quite, um, you know, fairly hard, I would say. And it's lovely after that. It's like so moisturising and it feels good on the skin. So I'm happy with the recipe. But you just have to work around the fact that um, you need a longer curing time. I'm really happy with the way this has come out. It looks really nice. I probably could have done more layers, to be honest. And they could have, like, been... I mean, this seems quite harsh. But, yep. I like it. And it smells absolutely... Oh, wow, it smells beautiful. It does. It's um, ylang ylang geranium. It's got frankincense and myrrh. And I never use frankincense and myrrh in soaps because they are very expensive oils to use. But they're beautiful. They, they smell beautiful, they're absolutely. And they're very, very good for your skin as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I am going to leave you with some pictures. Thanks for watching.